Hey, what you up to? What you been up to? What's up? What's new? How's it going? You good? Sometimes when I start classes with students, I use one of these phrases and they have no idea about what I just said. So let's take a look at some common ways that you can say hello to someone beyond saying hi, hello, and how are you? These are common greetings that you can hear in American English. A quick note about these greetings, we're going to be focusing especially on spoken English. So in terms of what you hear, this is going to be how these words sound. Don't pay too much attention to how it's written. The written forms are more just to capture the spelling of how these sounds are. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? This is especially asking about things that you did before you recently saw a person. So for instance, if I haven't seen a friend for a couple of days and I say, hey, what have you been up to? That means from the last time I saw you until now, what are some things that you did, some things you did recently? You can also say, what you up to? What you up to? Which is like, what are you up to? What you up to? And that means more about right now. What are you doing right now? What you up to? What you up to? If someone asks you, what have you been up to? Or what you up to? You can just name some activities that you did recently or that you're doing right now. So if I say, for instance, what you up to? Oh, I'm going to the store. Or what have you been up to? Oh, I've been working on a project for work. How's it going? How's it going? This is just asking pretty much like, how are you? How's it going? You can say things like, oh, it's going fine. Not bad. Good. These are all pretty standard answers. Like, How's it going? Not bad. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hey, what's good? What's good? What's good is basically asking, like, how are you? Or if you have some good news, you can also share that. So for instance, hey, what's good? Oh, I just got an invitation to a friend's wedding. Sup? Sup? Which is equivalent to what's up? Sup? What's up? And again, I'm probably the most common response would be nothing much. You can also ask it back to the other person. Like if they say, hey, it's up, you could say sup. Another possible answer would be to say this thing that you're in the middle of doing. So if someone says, sup, you could say nothing much, just going to the store or on the phone with a friend or anything like that. You can describe the actual activity that you're doing. How have you been? How have you been? Similar to some of the other ones we've looked at, this is asking about from the past until now. So from the recent past until now, how are things going? How have you been? How have you felt? So for instance, if you've had good news recently, if someone says, hey, how have you been? Oh, I'm actually doing pretty well. I just heard some good news from work. I got a promotion, something like that. So how have you been? Pretty good. How have you been? Not bad. What's new? What's new? This is your opportunity to share something new that happened to you. So for instance, if someone says, hey, what's new? You say, oh, I just bought a new car. I really like it. Things like nothing much work fine as well. How you holding up? How you holding up? This is especially a question that's asked when you know someone has been through something difficult. So for instance, maybe they've been sick, uh, maybe they were hurt, uh, maybe something happened in their family, and you're basically kind of checking in on them. Like, hey, how you holding up? And they could say, I'm good, or not great, or I've been better. If Maybe in the past things were better, but right now it's difficult. So those are all possible answers. It is possible to also ask this question, though, in normal situations, too. Like, how are you holding up? Um, and people could say, oh, like, we're fine. We're good. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? This is, again, very similar to how are you? How are you feeling? And it would have your standard types of answers. Like, not bad, good, fine, can't complain. All pretty standard. Similar to that, you could also ask, how's things? How's things? And again, the same types of answers, like not bad, can't complain, pretty good, great. If you have some special news, you can share it. Otherwise, those standard answers all work fine. You good? You good? This is a very flexible phrase, but when used as a greeting, the typical answers for this would be like, yeah, or not bad, or fine. And it's a way of just kind of asking, how are you? Okay, it's, a very, it's an even shorter form. You good? You good? 
Whatcha up to? Whatcha up to? Whatcha up to? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? What's good? What's good? What's good? Sup? 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 How have you been? How have you been? How have you been? What's new? What's new? What's new? How are you holding up? How are you holding up? How are you holding up? How are you feeling? How are you feeling? How are you feeling? How's things? How's things? How's things? You good? You good? You good? Questions on these types of greetings or other greetings that you've heard? Be sure to post them in the comments and also keep an eye out for future videos. Thank you guys for your time. We'll see you in a future one. Take care.